Hey everyone, it's Skidoo or Captive Collector, whatever you'd like to call me. Um, today I'm doing an unboxing of the Japanese version of Rune Factory 5 on Switch. I bought the special edition and I just realized that I bought like, I think the top tier Amazon Japan version, which came with a bunch of bonus stuff. So we're going to open those up and take a look at everything. Uh, it came packaged super super nice so i amazon japan i had one issue once with them where i threw everything in a box and it was awful and i they replaced the damaged items though which was amazing um but most of the time they pack stuff really good i wish canada and the states would take note on how japan packs their things because this they just take care of their stuff so well so they ended up packing it in like a big box and then inside that big box they had this little box but this little box was on a flat piece of cardboard that was about the size of the bigger box and they had it set in the center and then they shrink wrapped it to that cardboard so that this can't even move around and get banged up at all. It just stays right in the center of the box and it can't fall in any directions. It is just beautiful, fantastic. Please Canada, the States, please take note because when I order things from Amazon here in Canada, they send me special edition video games in an envelope and the box always comes crushed and it I lose my mind. Nowadays, I'll make Amazon send me a replacement and I'll send the damaged one back because I'm not spending over $100 on a special edition game to receive the box completely crushed. Like, I mean, bowed out on all sides, like just smushed. Why? Why do you do that? Don't do that. Just send them in boxes. I even put in my address once where I was like, ship in box only, please, because I can't stand when you send me stuff in an envelope. But I digress. Um, I only opened this part up. I didn't actually go through this stuff yet. So I did see what was on top though, but this is still kind of a surprise for me. We've got on top, looks like postcards or something. So I'm going to take, we got that. We've got a little woolly keychain. It's like a leather strap keychain. Uh, <laughs> the woolly is so cute, but he's actually like fabric-y. Like, I don't know if he's embroidered or something, but I'll take him out in a second. He's like fuzzy, like it comes out. And then we have, are these a magnet? These might be magnets. I'm not sure of the different characters. I don't know who they all chose. But um, I'll open these up as well in a second. Just get everything out of the box. So we've got the special edition game itself here. Uh, it has this holographic, like sparkly holographic design on the box, as you can see. It is so nice. <laughs> so I'll show you that more in a second as well. It looks like I also got a towel. Interesting. I didn't know it was coming with this because of course everything in the website is on in Japanese and I, I know that it came with an Amazon bonus but I was assuming it would be like the last one which was just a set of postcards which is I'm talking about Rune Factory 4. They had a special edition of that. It came with I believe just postcards. I have an unboxing of Rune Factory 4 as well so if you'd like to check that out I will put it in the card above and also link it in the description below so you can check that out if you were interested. That's for the North American version though that I did an unboxing of that. I thought that it was just gonna come with postcards but it came with a lot more. So it looks like it came with a towel. It looks like a microfiber towel. I don't know it looks really soft like it doesn't it doesn't look like towel material. So Let's open it up and see what it is. I'm always scared about opening fabric things in my room because my dog sheds a lot and I don't want to get her hair on everything. So this is the towel blanket thing, whatever it is. It is not a towel material. So I don't know. It's like really, really soft. There is a very particular marriage candidate that I'm very excited for. Uh, he is not on this, which makes me a little bit sad, but it's okay. Um, so this is how it looks. It's hard to show you guys the full thing. But yeah, it's super soft. And on the back side, it's uh, a little bit of a rougher material. I don't know. It's, it's very, it's very odd. Next, let's do the little keychain woolly. I'm shocked it came with this too. Like, I just, I did not expect. It is a little woolly. He is textured very soft. And then you have like this kind of fake leather strap thing in the back. 
Um, it says Marvelous on the back. Nice little bag keychain. He's so cute, but I'd be so scared because he's white to get him dirty. So let us open the magnets next. I think they're magnets. We've got the two main characters. I think it's Eris and Alice. Is that their names? So we've got him here, we've got her here, and then we have uh, four marriage candidates. We have two bachelorettes and two bachelors. Uh, I don't remember all of their names or like any of their names, so I apologize. Uh, here is this one girl with pink hair. Here is the little elf ranger lady. She's really cute. And then we've got two of the bachelorette, a uh, bachelors, sorry. Uh, we've got the knight one and we've got the smith one. I really hope that there's lots of save slots so that I can marry a bunch of different people. <laughs> Oh, so they're not magnets. They're actually pins. I've never seen pins this shape and size. I assume they were magnets because of uh, the shape and size of them. But yeah, no, they're actually they're actually pins. That is that is shocking to me. Definitely didn't expect those. I'm not gonna open each one just because I I don't see the need. It's the same art you can see online as well of them, but. And the backs all look the same. And the next thing is the postcard set and potentially stickers. I don't know what these are. Oh, they're actually just photographs. Um, so they're just like photograph printed. So we've got the two main characters here. And they're actually the same characters uh, that were on the pins. We've got the two bachelorettes and the two bachelors. That's fun. And then we've also got some postcards here of it looks like some of the animated screenshots from the game. So we've got the same two bachelorettes. And then now I'm seeing the bachelors. Yep, those are the two bachelors as well. We've got the main character and the other main character. And then we've got a cute one of her trying to pull a gigantic, I believe that's a turnip, out of the ground with some really cute woolies hanging out. And there's a little girl woolly who's pink and she has a little flower in her. And I forget the, the cow Buffamoos. I think they're Buffamoos. That's her name. I love Buffamoos. And there's one of those chickens. And then we've also got a, another one of the two protagonists. And that is it. So those are all of the postcards. I am a little sad that they didn't include more bachelors and bachelorettes because there's a few, again, there's two other bachelors that I'm specifically very excited for. Um, I have been fed for this game. I'm very happy. There's a big wolf man <laughs> and he has a beard. <laughs> And I am so ready for him. And then there's also another character who's voiced by a voice actor I really, really love. Uh, he plays Okita and Hakuoki. And he voices like another kind of scruffy older dude. And I'm like, y'all are feeding me in this game. Y'all know my type. Big bearded men. I have a very particular taste when it comes to fictional men, okay? I just need an English release date because I gotta marry my big wolf boy, all right? And there's an adorable like wolf girl and I am super excited for her too. And I need, I wish there was more of the bachelors and bachelorettes in some of the bonus material. I also love Japanese stuff because it's packaged like in resealable plastic and I love that because then I can put the boxes back in the plastic to protect them versus in North America you just get shrink wrap and like shrink wrap you can't really put it back in because it tears uh anyways oh it's so pretty wow so here it is very glossy super holographic very sparkly uh the side is just kind of the picture of the sky continuing the top is just some colored lines. The picture just continues on the bottom as well. And this is the back. Here's my big wolf boy. Very excited. Here's the older dude that I'm super excited for that's voiced by the same actor as uh, the same guy who does Okita from Hakuoki. And there's this really cute little witch girl. And I'm very excited for everybody. But yeah, this is what the back looks like. Blah, blah, blah. This is what the back looks like. This is what it's supposed to come with. So we are going to open it on up. I just am so excited they did a fifth game. It has been so long since they released a Rune Factory game. And the fact that it's going to be like a full looking Rune Factory, kind of how Rune Factory Frontier looked on the Wii, but like going to be better because it's HD. Ooh, I'm so excited. I also kind of wish they would remaster 
Uh, Tides of Destiny, or Tides of Destiny I guess doesn't have to be because it's also in HD because it's on the, the PS3, but I do wish Tides of Destiny and Rune Factory Frontier would get like a Switch release with like slight upgrades. That would be real cool. I would enjoy that a lot. Always gotta cause a little damage to the flap on the box when you open it because the stupid things get stuck. Drives me nuts. Here is the book. Ooh, this is codes for bonus stuff in the game. And we get a little soundtrack here. So we got the code that came with it. We've got the book that comes with it. We've got the game itself and the sound selection. It is the, what, what it was called? Memorial Sound Selection Rune Factory. So it's not going to be the whole soundtrack, of course. It's just going to be a few select. It has 15 tracks on it. It was actually more than I expected there to be. Uh, and it has the cute little wolf girl on the front. I'm not going to open this one up because uh, there's nothing in there except just the CD. Uh, there's no like cover art or anything. The only thing is she is actually on the glass either she's on the glass or I think she's on a little plastic insert but it's nice and clear so you can see that there is a flower or plant uh design on the disc here which is super pretty and of course her on the front there which is super cute I love that and here is the back with the track list I don't know if you can read it but you can probably find the track list online We've got the game itself. Here is the front cover. It even says the, the premium box version here. And then we've got <laughs> Mexican boys in the back. <laughs> here is the back of it. I'm not gonna open it. It doesn't have any inserts. Uh, it doesn't look like it has reversible art on the jacket, but I'm not 100% sure because I can't really see inside. It does just look white, but I could be wrong. I'm assuming you could probably find a picture online. I just really don't want to open up the Japanese copy just yet. I will open the book though and we'll flip through the book. The book here. It has some really nice little foil. It is fully matte. It's a little ripply from the plastic that it was in because it was like squishing the dust jackets. As you can see, there's some ripples. But this is the cover. We do have one of my boys on the cover. <laughs> of course, with most Japanese paperbacks, it has a dust jacket. And on the inside is a little woolly. And it says, Rune Factory 5 Visual Book, which the dust jacket also says up here. So the pages aren't laminated or anything. They are just like a regular paper. I'm just going to flip through it really quick and show you guys what's in it here. So we've got the contents page and we've got some info of the main characters here. And it goes through each of the, each of the marriage candidates Look how beautiful he is. I am so excited for him. He's supposed to own the inn or the, the bathhouse or something. And I don't know why that's like right up my alley, but it feels like it is. Oh, I'm also super intrigued by him. And look, let's just give me the old men. It is a shame he is not also romanceful. I don't know who he is, but I guess we'll find out later. Um, either way, like... He's handsome too. And of course we're getting into the side characters. Here we go. Why isn't she romanceable? She is absolutely stunning and I am angry that the big booby fox lady is not romanceable. Who decided that? That was a bad decision. Who? Who made that decision? Well, why isn't she romanceable? She cute too. There's like no big booby ladies to romance. And that is insulting. So I'm just going to try to go through this quicker. Also, he's cute too. Like, can I romance him as well? Look at his curly little hair. This is very awkward to do, but we're just going to kind of quickly flip through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is um, cameos of Doug and why do I forget her name? 
Margaret or something. And um, they have kind of an older design here, which I really, really like. Doug looks awesome with his little ponytail. And Margaret, I think it's Margaret, looks cute as well. And I think these are the children designs. Oh, it looks like there's a few separate ones that you can get. I don't know if it depends on who you marry or maybe just decisions you make, but that'll be the child avatar. We've got some cute little chibis of the characters here. Some of the monsters. Oh, I love the monsters so much. And then we get into some of the sets and background art. I'm just going to kind of skip through these really quick. And some <laughs> key frames for some of the animated parts. I don't know if this is the, oh, I think this is the opening sequence. And then we have some of the promotional art here. Kind of sucks because they're stuck in the crease. And the spine there, but there's another promotional piece. Here's some Christmas woolies. Oh, sorry, Valentine's Day and a Christmas woolie. And then we have Happy New Year 2021 of the two main characters. Very cute. And the story of Rune Factory continues, it says. And that is the little art book. I'm sorry, that wasn't like a good overview flip through but I thought I would just do something quick uh so that is everything that comes with the Rune Factory 5 special edition I apologize for not opening the game itself and opening the cd I just really don't want to open them <laughs> I'm sure you can find uh what the like cartridge looks like online probably just has Rune Factory on it to be honest uh and the cd is nice it has that little flowery pattern anyways I will remind you that I will link the Rune Factory 4 unboxing in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will put links in the description below for all my social media and my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Taco Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. Thank you guys so much for those of you who've done it and to those of you who plan to do it. Like, thank you, thank you. Follow, like, subscribe, do whatever, comment, let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know if you're excited for Rune Factory 5, if you're gonna play it, what's going on, who you're gonna romance, let me know. I'm extremely interested. I love the Rune Factory series so much and I'm really, really pumped to play Rune Factory 5. I just hope that the English translation hurries the heck up and gets over here soon because I gotta play it. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!